Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Housewives of Atlanta, Season 13, Episode 11. If you were new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're one of my people, welcome back. So, y'all, the ladies, they having their last little dinner while they on vacation. Portia is annoyed because the antics that Kenya was doing last episode, going around, playing detective, you know, basically accusing and assuming who did what, when, why, and where. So she not trying to pray. Since then, she takes over the prayer. Bless the food. Everybody's enjoying, enjoying their snow crabs, their corn, their potatoes, you know, having a good time. Cynthia saying how she realizes that she is a lawyer. She enjoyed watching what the other girls was doing. She went back to her room and enjoyed herself. And it's like, okay, this is what you got going on. The lady's like, yeah, we had so much fun last night. You know, you know, getting along. But then that all turns left when Latoya's asking Drew what kind of woman would be all up on Bolo's Bolo's. And she was like, this is where I'm going to stop you right here because... Every lady here was all up on Bolo, including you. So what you're not going to do is single me out like I was the only one out here having a good time with Bolo. Because if memory serves me correct, he was having a good time with Bolo and Portia. Okay? She didn't say that, but that's what I'm getting out of that situation. Situation. Then we got to talk about Kenya and her playing detectives. Now, they were saying how... It was cool at first when she was like, what went on? Who did what? But then it was like, it turned to like, he was accusing people. Like, I was hearing this. I heard that. I came downstairs. And like Candy said last episode, how is it that you so concerned about your baby being in the house? Your baby needed something to eat. But she was downstairs listening for 45 minutes at the, at the door. You leaving your baby for 45 minutes to go be nosy. So this is going to come back to bite Kenya when Mark sees this information. I can guarantee because you know, he's going to use and try to use any and every information he can to whether he wants custody of Brooklyn or not, just to make her life hell. Because that seems what he's been doing, like, since they've been, well, since she came back on last season. Yeah. But they like, it's like, we was having fun, like, really? This is when Tanya, like, Tanya, you girl, you was not helping your case. And she was like, I was in Portia's room the whole night. And it's like, girl, she's already saying how she heard two people in a room. You saying you was in there with Portia is not really helping your case. But I'm like, it could have just been Tanya and Portia. Bolo could have been somewhere else. Like, Marlo feels if you slept with a stripper, you slept with a stripper. I'm cool because we all grown out here. But Kenya feels like... If that's how you get down, that's how you get down. But that's something you should be doing in your own house. And my daughter was in the house. I was like, yes, but you also knew that y'all was at the bachelorette party. And you knew that these ladies were still down here having fun when your nanny brought your baby to this house. It wasn't like y'all was like, you went and like, hey, ladies, you know, we had a good time and all that stuff. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. My nanny's bringing my baby. We need to, we need to, you know, just stop all this. And we, what y'all doing? We need to put a break on it. Put Put, you know, put a stop to that because my baby's in the house. You didn't do that. You brought your baby in the house and you should go upstairs. But I'm not saying it was Kenya, but like the only person that seemed like they were sexually deprived would be Kenya. Candy got a man. Portia, she's back and forth with Dennis. Shamia's is married. Drew's married. Latoya feels like she be doing what she want to do. It seemed like Cynthia got, uh, is engaged. And Miss Tanya got a man. It seemed like the only person who was sexually deprived was Kenya. Is it that, you know, you're trying to point blame everywhere else so it's not pointing back at you? But I just didn't like how she wanted to bring when my daughter was in the house. And y'all was doing that. I was like, yes, we was at a bachelorette party. We didn't know. They, one, they drunk. Two, they having fun. And three, they didn't know that your daughter was going to be coming in at this certain time. It wasn't like they had not gone it. Um, you know, alarms and all that stuff. And, like, soon as 2 o'clock hit. Everything went down. Music stopped playing. Bolo automatically stopped doing whatever he was doing. And all the ladies was like, oh, I am sober down. The party is over. Bolo leaves. And they go to bed. It's not like it happened. Like that. They was drunk and having a good time. They they weren't really caring that Brooklyn was upstairs. They was too busy having a good time. Now, back in Atlanta, 
Drew is talking to Ralph about what went down at the Bachelor. I'm just looking like head and shoulders. She's saying how, you know, there was a stripper. It was a bachelorette party. At one point, I got flipped over. And I may have got slapped on the butt. Now, mister, I like to leave for days on end and not tell you that I'm gone and where I'm going to. It looked like he was a little upset. I was like, but she let him know I was not out here doing anything that could, you know, jeopardize my marriage. You know, I was having a good time. I enjoyed what I saw, but that's what it went. That's what it wasn't. That's the word I'm trying to say. It wasn't anything like that. Since she's talking to Mike, she's saying how she had a good, good time. And seeing Bodo was a good, good time. Candy is telling Don Juan about, you know, it was soon. He was like, yeah, because I got a call from the driving service. And they was like, um, we out here waiting. And Bodo didn't, you know, come out of the house till like 7 in the morning. And she's like, yeah, you know, she lets him know she heard some things. But she's not going to put some put business out there. Now, she's not saying, well, girl, child, I heard it was such and such. I heard it was such and such. Because Candy knows how to keep her mouth shut. She already said this is a um, a judge-free zone, and basically what you saw there, keep it there. Now Kenya goes to her lawyer, and she's telling him how Mark has been sending her all these love songs and proclaiming that he loves his family, he wants his family, all these things, and he's like, oh, because this is you know a difference from what I got. Basically, girl. I got some papers from his lawyer, and he is filing for divorce, and he wants alimony. And she's like, I know you lying. He not lying, girl. He wants a divorce, and he, he wants you to pay him alimony. Now, y'all know last season, he was talking about some. I would never take money from Kenya. I would never do that. Now, yes, that was before the pandemic, and your restaurant was doing good. Now, you know. You ain't really, you know, popping like that in your restaurant, and you don't need a little bit of money. And she's like, I know, that, I know, he's not trying to get no money. Now I have a question: Can you mark their marriage? I know that. Have they actually lived in the same marital house? Any of their relationship? Because what I'm thinking is, or assuming, Kenya, she has been in Atlanta the whole time. He has been in New York the whole time. When she takes Brooklyn to him to see him in New York, she stays at a hotel. She don't even stay at his house. So I'm like, how did y'all have this marriage and y'all never lived together? That was confusing to me. And another thing, she should have known that this marriage was going to be some mess. At seeing as how she had never met any of his family. Like, you ain't met the mama. You ain't met the daddy. You ain't met the kids. You ain't met a cousin. Have you met any of his friends is the question. Now, I understand, you know, Mark has not had met her mother because she has issues where her mom don't really, her mom has nothing to do with her. But, like, what about the auntie and the cousin? What about her daddy? They still in her life. And has he met her family? I'm confused. And if y'all have any information to, to can clarify some things, go ahead and, you know, put it in the description. And not the description, which is called the comments below. So, y'all, nothing else really happened. Drew did go over Portia's house, and they was discussing how... Kenya was being extra, extra messy and, you know, like, we were supposed to be out here having fun and you over here playing detective, like, girl, that's not cool, like, no. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome, feel free to subscribe, it's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on with my beautiful face. Put up a video, you can click on it, you can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.